A billion years is a long, long time. A billion years is a longer time than the human brain can wrap around. Glancing across our past, a billion years is all the time it took to get from simple one-celled creatures swirling about in river-bottom clay deposits to people disrupting traffic by texting while driving. A billion years was the time it took for the continents to shuffle back and forth across and around the globe a half dozen times. But an even more powerful and frightening perspective is to look a billion years into the future. A billion years from now, you and I and everyone we have ever known will be dead. So obvious it is silly to say, but so will their children's 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 children. And in fact, every descendant that even remotely resembles them. At higher than a cellular structure, will be dead. The human race will be extinct. Our genes may live on, but in unfamiliar bodies with unfamiliar organs. If bodies still exist at all, the moon, which drifts 3.8 centimeters farther from the Earth every year, will have drifted 3.8 billion centimeters, close to 24,000 miles, or about a tenth of its current orbital distance. Every institution of human culture will be so far buried in the past that it will be both unknown and unknowable. Coca-Cola will not exist, and no living being will know or have any reason to know that it ever did. Buddhism, Christianity, Islam, and all the rest will effectively never have existed. Sex might involve three, four, even five participants for reproduction, not just for kicks. Or perhaps, sadly, it will become a singular affair. But a billion years, as long as it is, remains only about a thirteenth of the way into what now is thought to be the entire history of the universe, and is probably a much smaller fraction of the way to its end. Projecting the future of life, or anything like it, so far into the future, unleashes the floodgates of the imagination and makes the unimaginable almost inevitable.